the glass unicorn. She sank frozen in a cocoon, frail arms trembling, slicing the air. She wore lavender silk for him, the gentleman caller, and when he called, barely did she trudge across the floor, clubfoot dragging its weight to the door. You must be Laura, he said. Eyes lowered, she nodded. His kind voice poked the walls of her cocoon. Surely there must be one thing you care for. Yes, there is one thing. Her high voice, her pure high voice, broke a din of silence. She held a glass unicorn in her delicate hand. See how the moonlight shines through, she whispered, no longer trembling. Blue roses, he named her. He saw her eyes were moons and summoned her to dance. But I cannot dance for the clubfoot would shame her. She slowly, slowly succumbed to his arms to follow his lead, shed her cocoon, and together they took flight. He blessed her with his kiss. Was she redeemed? Blue roses, you are different from the others, she heard him say, but I am beholden to another. The walls of the cocoon thundered. She stared down, down into dark, his footsteps trailing out the door. Saw the glass unicorn still glinting in the moonlight. How beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Ooh.